Hi, I'm Joe Cotodi, Director of Government Relations and Communications with uh, the, my friend Diana Trepkoff again. And uh, Diana, this time uh, we're here to plug another one of your books to promote something that I think a lot of people are going to be surprised but delighted with. It's a great new book called I'm Daisy the Safety Chihuahua. Yeah. Diana, you're, you're known as a, a forensic artist, um, certainly well known to Ontario police leaders and increasingly North America. And um, now you have a children's book. Tell yes. us how that came about. Um, my passion is helping people. And the whole point of this book is to teach children about some really important safety tips. To listen to their inner gut voice, because usually when we don't listen, that's when we get into problems. Um, to believe in themselves, to build their self-esteem. And it's through the eyes of a forensic artist. And there are so many families that I've helped with their children or missing loved one that's gone missing. And I could see the pain in their eyes, and I thought, if there's a way I can prevent another any child from going missing so I don't ever have to do an age progression again. Mm -hmm. And that's my purpose. If this book can save one child, then it's reached my goal. Mm -hmm. And uh, children, it's, it's an interesting um, audience that you've picked. Uh, I think that uh, the kids absolutely love uh, Daisy. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, but, but why specifically children? What are you trying to get the kids to understand through your, your book? about what you do. Yes. Um, w one thing, I mentioned many things, but what's important is I have all different animals on one right. page. Some dogs, cats, birds, that even though we might look different on the outside, we're all the same on the inside. Not to make fun of anyone. We all hurt the same. We all love the same. To treat people equal. Um, mm -hmm. I talk about your, the secret words that only the family knows. To believe in yourself and to appreciate what's different about yourself also. So safety tips, talk about 9-11, like 9 -1 -1, police, all kinds of stuff. Just to, to keep them aware of what's out there and not to trust everybody. You know? mm -hmm. Now that, that's a really important thing to make kids aware. Um, yeah. In your work, you've seen a lot of children, unfortunately, have gone missing. You've worked with yes. families. Is this a book also that uh, you know, families can use to build uh, you know, their bonds with their kids? Yes. Um, I'm hoping it'll be like read like a Bible to the child every day, and um, so th so the children they're not scared of what's out there that they can feel really close and be able to open up mm -hmm. to their parents about what they're scared of. Mm -hmm. Basically, it's like yeah, it's like a Bible, and I have an activity section at the back of the book where um, they write their dreams, their wishes, stuff like that, mm -hmm. and to say positive affirmations to yourself every day, like I love myself just the way I am, so they can grow up really confident mm -hmm. and to treat everybody fair, mm -hmm. you know? We seem to live in times where uh, kids are just bombarded yes. with images, right, on yes. TV, on the internet, and um, sometimes parents, uh, you know, kind of, they're scared and so they kind of feed that into the kids sometimes. Yes. I think what you're talking about is, is, is positive reinforcement, yes. right? Uh, for instance, obviously we work with police officers and we want to teach the kids that if they're in trouble, Police officer is a good person to um, yes. uh, to, to connect with. You can trust them. Um, so I, it, part of your book, I guess, is to build up, like you said, self-esteem yes. and also trust. Trust, uh, yeah, trust yeah. the right people. Right. Um, what about in schools? I mean, this is I see this book uh, being something that a teacher could certainly use. Use for uh, the classes, yeah. yeah. As a positive reinforcement. Yes, I'm looking forward to putting it into the schools, into the police forces. I'm also donating a bunch to the Children's Wish Foundation. They're um, waiting to get a whole bunch to send them out to the kids. Anything to help children feel more positive and stay safe because we got to protect them from the predators out there. And it all comes down to I don't want to see another child go missing ever, and I don't want to ever do another age progression. And if I could prevent a child from going missing, that I couldn't ask for anything more in life. Mm, it sounds very empowering. Thank you. <laughs> And uh, we know that you have a special place in your heart for kids because you work with families yes. and the kids. Uh, tell us about the families, though, how they handle, you know, what you do. Obviously, you're somebody that comes in yeah. after something has happened. Yeah. Right? I usually come in when they're stuck and um, they don't know where else to turn to. Mm -hmm. And basically what they say is mental torture. They have nowhere else to go and if I could help them. And I have a lot of connections, so I always will take on a case and I'll do anything in my power to get it out into the media, to write articles, through the Ontario Chief of Police Association, just get it out through my book, Faceless, Voiceless, anything that could help bring their loved ones back home. It's so hard because I'm really fortunate I have my kids, we're all healthy, we're all together, 
and nothing hurts more than to see somebody when they're going to sleep every night and they don't know where their daughter is. You know, they don't know where their wife is. It's been 10 years and you can see the pain they're going through. And I feel, sometimes I almost feel guilty if I enjoy my life because someone's suffering out there. Mm -hmm. And that's why it's pretty well all about helping people. That's, that's what I do, mm -hmm. you know? So, so tell us about uh, Daisy. Daisy, Daisy is a, a real live yes. dog. Yeah, Daisy's um, my little chihuahua. And um, she's so loyal. She was on my lap every morning. She sits there, and I would write the book. And mm -hmm. she's always happy to see me if I'm sad. She'll lick my face. It's a loyal little friend. I love her. She's six pounds. Mm -hmm. She's one of the best things that happened to me. And um, yeah, and I thought, you know, if you follow your passion, it the book just came from my heart, and it was really easy to do. It was like it was meant to be. Um, I just looked at her, and I every time we go out, all the kids always run to her, and there was a good connection because children love animals. Right. And they're so angelic, you know. And so I thought, coming from the animal, coming from Daisy, the kids will really listen. So I got some really smart, like Derek, nine years old, endorsed my book. And he was the first one to read it. He was so proud. And he said, um, you work with the detectives, Diane, the police, to help find missing children. And it was really nice to see the endorsements I got. My mm -hmm. son endorsed it, too. It's cute. And mm -hmm. the whole point is just to build something inside of them, keep them confident, safe. You know, and, and not and to be aware and listen to that little voice we have inside. A lot of people will ignore it. Just listen to your inner gut voice. Mm -hmm. So this book uh, is pretty well for everyone. Anybody yes. who has kids, works with kids, yes. loves kids. Yes. And so uh, I would very much recommend that uh, everybody go out and uh, maybe around Christmas. This would make a great gift sure, yeah. uh, for kids. Um, grandparents, uncles, aunts, friends, teachers, they can all get this. Now, yeah. where can we find this book? Um, Amazon.ca, Amazon.com, 20,000 online bookstores worldwide, mm -hmm. and eventually chapters in the go and etc. And now you have a website, I know. Yes. It's, it's a great website, and it's in all sales. People can obviously contact yeah. you. Yeah. Um, it's www.forensicsbydiana.com, and I can, they could can order through me or through Amazon. Great. Well, I certainly recommend this book. I know that you have a real passion, Diana, yeah. for uh, kids and families, and especially the victims. Yes. And so um, I wish you uh, all the best. Thank with you it. so much. <laughs> I know that Ontario police uh, leaders certainly support your work you. and appreciate what you do. And, and I appreciate and, what they do and what you do. Well, thank you. And so everybody, if you are watching this, make sure you check out on Daisy the Safety Chihuahua.